We've been looking forward to this day ever since we saw Julie Andrews, Diane Sawyer telling us all about this special last week. So fantastic. Their hour-long special, The Untold Story of the Sound of Music, where they travel to Austria together, is airing tonight. And we are so happy to have Diane here with us to share some of her favorite <laughs> things from the special. Wish you'd been there, guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was so great in Salzburg with Julie. It was unbelievable. It, it sure seems like Yeah, it, it really it, it looked like we were talking. It just seemed like such a great girls trip. And I wanted to ask you about one of your favorite things, the tourists recreating the moments. I know you can see some of them on YouTube, but there they are putting themselves, whole families, into their favorite scenes and they're going minute by minute through their favorite, all over Salzburg. Going through the birch trees. <laughs> yes, I have confidence in me, don't you? Yes. And so I gather together a group of Canadian tourists <laughs> and we decide to recreate Do Re Mi on the fountain. Let me tell you, I hope we were insured well enough for that event. It was joyful beyond imagining. There's so many iconic scenes, but probably the most iconic, that opening scene, the hills are alive, mm -hmm. Julie Andrews, what I didn't know that mountain is actually a secret location? It's privately owned. They do not want people coming in. You cannot find it on Google Maps. So we set out in the car and we take you, yes, we take you on the trip. You have to cross out of Austria into Germany. You go past signposts and cows and sheep. And we think we're there. We think we're there. We're getting closer all the time, but it's quite a trek. Your ears are popping and then suddenly, suddenly, oh here it is. The hills are alive. <laughs> Wow, is this it? Is this it? Here we are, the view exactly as it was half a century ago, but the day we're there is sunny. Julie Andrews wasn't so lucky. So I went to your mountain. I want to know how you did that. How I got up there? Oh, well, my. it rained a lot. The tarp over your head. Mm freezing cold waiting for the clouds to part i know we actually went up the mountain in big open carts pulled by oxen i would sit on top of all the camera equipment and then they'd hoist me up and up we'd go on that day we were shooting on the mountain we're lucky we have small silent drones getting the shot back in 1965 julie andrews was doing battle with a helicopter that kept blowing up a tornado of wind this giant helicopter came at me sideways with a very brave cameraman hanging out the side where the door would be normally. And the helicopter would shoot me and I'd come from one end of the field and he'd come from the other. And I'd make that big turn. And then he'd go around me to go back and start again and I'd run to the other end. But every time he went around me, the downdraft from the jets would fling me down into the grass. Quiet, please. But somehow, out of that duel with the helicopter, the nine takes after every one of them hair and clothes refreshed, somehow out of the long hours and the cold and the exhaustion, in that 20 minutes of sunshine, the giant speakers up in the trees began playing that music. One was suddenly released maybe from, from waiting and waiting, I don't know, but these huge, big speakers in the trees were blasting this beautiful music. And for all of us, an indelible moment, celebrating the simple joy of being young and alive. The hills are alive with the sound of music, with songs they have sung for a thousand years. And we will take you inside all of your favorite scenes. Sometimes it's simply hilarious what is really going on. Christopher Plummer weighs in. Oh my goodness, irreverent Christopher Plummer. And then some of it is so moving. And I promise you're going to love the movie even more if it's possible to love it even more. So spectacular. We could see those clouds in the background there. You she can. was fighting it. We're going to show you scene by scene if you're looking carefully. You could see what was really going on that day, including the, the brook that, with the stone she jumps over, which was brought in by the movie studio, put there, there was a brook, and then <laughs> it was taken away. And we're going to show you everything that was really going on in all I your can't favorites. wait to watch the special and then watch the movie again. Yes, it's yes, going to be great. Yes. And watch Diane's special tonight, The Untold Story of the Sound of Music. It's at 10, 9 central, right here on ABC. Thanks for coming in, Diane.